Welcome to Poisonous Plants 1 to 1, a story about poisonous plants told in 121 seconds. I hope it doesn't sound too arrogant when I say that a lot of things written in books about poisonous plants are wrong. Deadly nightshade berries, to take one example, are not insanely sweet. And woody nightshade isn't called bittersweet because the berries are bitter then sweet. So when the books say that people get poisoned by daffodils from the Narcissus genus because they mistake the bulbs for onions. You'd expect that to be wrong. But in this case, the books have it right. I've heard a great many stories from people about being poisoned by eating a daffodil bulb in a meal when it was taken for an onion. The foreign maid didn't know the difference. When I was 12, I made a stew for my sick parents. A daffodil bulb in a school vegetable plot was harvested with the onions. I thought my mother-in-law had left a carrier bag of onions while we were out, and many more. Most stories are related to the bulb, but the foliage is also toxic. In the spring of 2012, there were a number of poisoning incidents in Bristol, after Chinese supermarkets stocked bunches of daffodils in bud, and they were mistakenly used as chives in Chinese cooking. Though there are plenty of incidents, only a very few involve anything more than a stomach upset lasting a couple of days at most. I've never seen reports of a confirmed fatality. Much of the folklore surrounding the Narcissus genus is concerned with lost love, deception or death. But these days, it is most often associated with the work of Macmillan Cancer Support, the charity that provides nursing support to sufferers and their families. For a lot more information on poisonous plants, please visit www.thepoisongarden.co.uk.